All right, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. So, as the title suggests, I'm gonna go ahead and review AMA, I believe it's 48, if I'm not mistaken, um, Hollow Chain AMA 48. Now, overall, I'm gonna give you guys my overall um, review, but there are some things that I wanna cover uh, beforehand, um, as I actually, as I'm giving the review, I don't practice these things, so I apologize, you guys. But um, <laughs> I almost said something, but we'll, we'll get there in a second. I'm trying to, I'm trying to develop uh, emotional intelligence and um, actually give you guys a better, um, a better review um, than an emotional review. And I'm going to talk about that in a, in a second. We're going to split all of those things out. But all right, so the first thing is, is um, we're going to talk about what is an AMA, um, what are the expectations, uh, clarity, what happens now, as in what's going to happen now within the crypto space um, as far as Holochain is concerned? My options to move forward, I'm going to talk about some things of what I've decided to do to move forward. Um, I'm going to talk about the crypto space as a whole. And then finally, um, I actually have some new plans, um, some things that I'm going to be doing in my life and changing up some things in my life. So uh, we're going to go ahead and cover those things. The first thing I want to do is I want to talk about AMA 47 as a whole, as a whole AMA, uh, I believe 48, excuse me. Well, whatever the latest hollow chain AMA was, um, was to me a flop. Um, I'm just, I'm giving it to you how I see it. Um, there are a lot of reasons, a lot of good things to glean from the AMA. I know many of you guys out there, you guys are hollow chain fans. I am not one of those people to um, to drink the Kool-Aid. I'm always one of those people to just, hey, here are the facts. It is what it is, okay? Um, everybody knows, are uh, familiar with the term, walk like a duck, talk like a duck, okay? So in a way, and yes, I use that on purpose for some of you hollow chain fans out there. But in a way, um, the, point, the point is, is that we need to understand that no matter what we do in life, we cannot get overly emotional um, or um, we need to have a certain emotional intelligence in order for us to be successful in life, right? So we need to learn and we need to grow and we need to do the right things. We need to change, right? So changing is um, extremely important in life. It's also extremely important in business. It's also extremely important um, when you're looking at your finances, when you're trying to find out what you want to invest in, how to invest in it. There's a lot of things there in which we really need to, we have to grow, all right? So the first thing is, is um, when, we, when I was looking, when I was watching the AMA and I reviewed the AMA, um, I saw that there was a lot of people that were really upset about the AMA. Um, now, I'm not upset with it. I, don't, I think it was a flop. Um, I thought there was a lot of great information, but I, I, I'm, I'm not angry. I am... Um, I think there's a, 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 a disconnect and there's obviously extreme disconnect in which the hollow organization has failed to um, to to talk about. We're, we're, we're going to get into all of that in a second here. But um, so we have to understand what is an AMA? Well, an AMA is basically an organization. It's Ask Me Anything, right? They add just for um, the uh, informal interview where in which the interviewee uh, answers the questions um from the public right so you you know you you say okay well what's going on out there and you answer the questions that every that's on everyone's mind now the first thing i want to talk about is the expectations what are the expectations for uh an ama and ask me anything usually in the crypto space usually some big announcements usually there's some things going on in which um no one else has known before and you know a lot of people are excited about in which there was a few of those um, moments in the last AMA. However, overall, this is a rinse and repeat AMA. Pretty much, you um, it has the questions that people uh, from the public ask questions. They chose, that means the hollow organization, chose to answer some of the most, how should I say this, the questions that not that no one wants to hear from the hollow organization. Like these are questions that everybody knows, right? Most people will follow um, hollow chain. And, and that's another, that's another thing. 
Um, and I apologize. I'm going to go on a little bit of a rabbit trail here, but I'm going to try to cover everything because there's a lot to unpack. Probably should be more um, organized uh, than just writing it down. However, I do believe that this is the best uh, format for myself. As you guys know, I can go on a rabbit trail. So um, when it comes to understanding what an AMA is, um, for a regular AMA uh, in the crypto space, yeah, it was it was mad. The thing that made it bad was the fact that when you, the questions that they answered was not the biggest questions on, on every uh, person's mind. And I'm talking about people who are invested in the company. I'm talking about people who have bought the hot token. I'm talking about people who are interested in their technology, right? Because we have to separate those things. We have to separate the people who are investors in the hollow organization. And then we also have to um, separate uh, in the hot token. And then we also have to separate those who are extremely um, hollow chain fans because they believe in the technology. Now, obviously, I'm one of those people. I've stated this before, long time ago, all the way up until now. I believe in the technology. And I've always stated that you should always, me personally, this is what I believe, um, always invest in technology. Why? Because it just seems that over the years, um, and you guys can do the research on this and look it up, so you guys know I'm not talking out of my, out of my rear end, that that is the best way to do if you just invest in uh, certain technologies that you feel is going to make it, you hold for a long time, and then obviously um, you can make life-changing uh, money. Now, notice I said that there's a divide. I believe that the hollow organization has failed to mention that divide. I don't know whether they um, are not organized enough. And by the way, speaking of organized, going on another rabbit trail here, but um, for an organization that has all of this revenue, and I mean revenue as far as people invested in a hot token, because the hot token did rise. Um, it just seems a little bit disorganized. Um, Lack of communication. This has happened. This has happened since the beginning, since the inception. You guys know I've been making videos on Hollow Chain for a long time, and I'm going to try to keep this video under an hour. But I got a feeling it's not going to get there. But you guys know that I've been um, um, uh, paying attention to exactly what's going on within the Hollow organization, and we've seen this time and time again. Where there's miscommunications, uh, AMA is missed. Um, lack of communication. Once, uh, and that's from a lack of communication, not just within the organization, but lack of communication from the organization to the public. All right. And then also we have to take a look at what happened. They came, uh, they came in late. There was, you know, some kind of um, miscommunication there. And, um, you know, they apologize for it. These things happen. Um, I, I, told you guys I was going to be making a video today. I am making a video today. However, it's getting into you guys um, later, but I did not set a specific time. We're going to get into time frames in a second, because that is one of the things that we're going to talk about within, um, <laughs> about in hollow chain. Uh, so again, when we're taking a look at the AMA and I was, I was looking at how disorganized they were. I'm like, but this is just a risk and repeat. It's the same old stuff. It's the same questions. Um, not really the exact same questions, but it's the questions in which they're questions that are simple questions, but questions you can look online and figure out. There's a couple of things that I want to mention um, right off the bat. The first thing is, is I noticed, this is just me, me personally, please watch the AMA for your own, um, for because you need to do your own research. But I, I sat there and I, and I watched Mary and, and obviously uh, she responded to something about time frames, right? So not only to me are they a little bit disorganized. Now I consider myself, I like to be organized in, in real life, in real world, when I have my own uh, organization and when I'm uh, managing things, I am extremely organized. I, um, I'm one of those people to where I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna play the situation in my mind and make sure that it works out exactly how I played it out. And I'm gonna walk through it in my mind to make sure that those, um, that those, um, that everything is, uh, that it works efficiently. Now, um, I'm sorry, but I, I apologize. No, I'm not even gonna apologize. If you make as much money as the hollow organization, um, one, you need 
you need, and this is just me telling what the Hollow organization needs to do. Now, if you guys seen any of my videos, you guys know they don't listen to a damn thing that I have to say, nor do they even care. So, um, and that's just how I feel. And I haven't been contacted by um, the Hollow organization or anything like that. So I'm just telling you that's just how I feel. Not that it is that way. Um, but anyway, when we're taking a look at um, uh, uh, the Organ the organization. Uh, I'm sorry. I almost got. I got so many things I want to say, and I can't put them in order. So Mary, uh, she was responding, and she was saying, "Hey, uh, I don't know where anybody's getting it. We haven't given it any timelines that are doing any of this." Okay, she said from the external community, right? She said from the external community of Hollow Chain. Guess what that means? Everybody on Twitter, you're considered an external uh, uh, part of the Hollow organization. You're not part of the Hollow organization. Um, and I, by the way, I am talking and the questions that I ask, and by the way, if you want to know the questions that I, that I would like to ask, you can take a look at my video, my uh, couple of previous videos about um, questions uh, that I have, hollow chain questions, and you will understand. But anyway, uh, when you're an organization and you have as much money as they do, and then um, you're, you're receiving, you're, it's not just about money, but it's about um, being organized. I don't know whether they need to hire somebody to get everybody together to have everything work in a, in a, in a great format to understand that, hey, these are the questions from the, com the community, the hollow community. And it just seems to me uh, that the important questions that people have, not these people. And by the way, I think it's extremely disrespectful uh, and this is going to the public side. I think it's extremely dis disrespectful for those who have um, jumped into the hot token, bought the hot token. It hasn't moved anywhere. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what hollow fuel is. You don't know what um, the hollow organization is. You don't know about the swap or how it works. And by the way, I don't think anybody knows how exactly how the swap is going to work. We're going to get to that later as well. So anyway, um, we're talking about all of these things. And these people, they come in here, they ask certain questions. And the questions are just like, dude, wait, the information isn't out yet. So I think it's disrespectful. First off, I think it's disrespectful for um, people to ask, hey, when Lambo, when this, when that. Now, I do believe that there needs to be a whole lot of clarity. We're going to get to that and I'm not going to get to that. I'm going to go ahead and not get there yet. But. When we're talking about going back to the questions, we're talking about the questions that they want to answer. They are not answering any questions that are solid, intelligent questions that we need to know. Um, and that's people who are investing in the hot token, which is me, and people who are excited about the hollow chain um, project, which is also me. So what I've had to do is I've had to sit here and I've got to divide myself and I've got to put myself in specific boxes and I have to review everything. Uh, why? Because not only am I invested in hollow chain by investing in a hot token, which we're going to talk about that as well. There's so many things you guys obviously can see that I really want to talk about. And we're going to get to the next of most of that. So you guys need to probably hang on to your seats, uh, hang on to your horses and horses, hang on to something else. All right. So uh, basically when we're looking at this, I'm, I'm looking at the AMA and I'm like, wow, like they're not only. So so Mary gets upset was I don't understand where people get these timelines. We haven't given timelines. I give you I'll tell you hollow organization. I will tell you guys exactly where people are getting timelines from. Well, there are a lot of hints that people have to um, go by. Uh, for example, if Kazuna or uh, a, another uh, program that's within a hollow chain organization say, hey, we're going to be using hollow chain is going to be jumping on there. Well, if somebody in their right mind says, well, wait a second. They're going to be working on hollow chain. That means hollow fuel is going to be out pretty soon, right? 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 So if it's during this time frame, that means that it must be going to be coming out. See, all of this information. Now, the reason why, and yes, I'm speaking to the hollow organization right now. The reason why people are asking all of these questions, especially when it comes to time frames, is because you guys have not given any order to exactly where uh, where we are. Are we in alpha? Are we not in alpha? Are we in beta? Well, this project's in alpha, this project's in beta, and everything else in between. I have a simple solution. Just put it online and say, hey, we are here. Green dot. Stamp. Bam. There you go. I don't understand why you have to get upset 
about when people ask good questions and you know for a fact, by the way, the whole organization knows for a fact that people are invested in their hot token and they want to see it goes up. And guess what? I have something to say to you guys that I've told you guys this before. They don't care. Okay? I really need you guys to understand about organizations. You can read an organization and, and you, sometimes you don't have a choice because of the fact that that's all the information that they're giving you. They're not giving you any other information. So before I even skip on to that, uh, to all of that stuff, let me go back and circle back and make sure that I don't skip anything and, and talk in circles. So basically, all of these people are, uh, are asking all of these questions because they don't know. Right. So um, I believe the solution can be very simple. Just put the gosh darn thing on online and say, hey, we are here. We will let you know when we hit here. We will let you know when we go to beta. We will let you know when this. I don't understand how difficult that is. But maybe it is difficult for the hollow organization. I don't know. Okay. So, um, but in a way, I'm looking at it. And this is one of the reasons why it was a flop. Now, I also, I also consider it disrespectful. When people come in and they purchase the hot token or they purchase anything online and they have not done their own research. Um, and so what happens is, and I know I've stated this similar, this is a very similar thing, but I think it's disrespectful for anyone to attack the people individually, right? So um, Mary, I don't know who she is. Uh, David, I don't know who he is. I don't know who any of these people are. They could be very nice people, okay? It doesn't matter whether they're nice people, mean people, everything else in between. The only thing that matters to some people is the fact that, oh, it's a great community. Oh, um, and this goes into religion as well. I'm not going to get too deep into religion. You guys know how I feel about that. Um, but hey, it's a great community. But this person did this, this, I don't care. It's a great community. And so, oh, that's how you feel. Oh, that's how you're true. That's how you see things. So um, again, um, when we're... When we're looking at organizations, and for some of you guys who are new to um, a hollow chain, and really you need to look at the nuts and bolts of exactly what's going on, because there's a lot to unpack as far as hollow chain is concerned. And just watching their latest AMA, you're probably going to have more questions than answers. Okay, so it's extremely important that you under, that you do your own research. And I've always said this, do your own research, do your own research, do your own research. And there's a reason why I say that, people, because I'm just up here talking, but I could be talking out of my rear end. There might not be anything that you might um, that you can glean from me. There might not be any new information that you can glean from me. However, there's a lot of information online. And if you take all of that information and you put it together, then you'll be good to go as far as how you feel about things. This is how I feel about the hollow organization because why not only have I done my own research but I've been following them very very closely why because it's one of my favorite projects now there's also another uh, other projects out there that um, that I, I like and um, believe it or not I'm gonna be talking about those but we're gonna get into that um, when I start talking about new plans but anyway as you guys can see I haven't even got to step two yet. So we already um, we already asked the question, okay, what is the AMA, right? What are the expectations for AMA? I think many of us already know our expectations. Sometimes our expectations are to receive something new or receive some grand um, information or get answers to questions that we've been asking for a very, very long time, right? And I think that's extremely important for an organization to be able to do. However, as far as... Um, from a grand scheme of things, expectations have not been met. Now, technology, uh, technical-wise, expectations probably have not been met for some people, and they have been met for others, and it's been extremely subjective. So if anybody um, looks at the AMA and says, oh, wow, there's no negative stuff on here. It's all positive things, and everything's flowery, and, and things are going great, and, and things are going well. And, and by the way, um, I would like to, you know, if, if with the company or organization, and there are a lot of uh, AMAs out there, and I think that's another thing that a lot of, that upsets a lot of people is the fact that you have to compare and contrast. So when you look at other AMAs, there's some good AMAs out there where they're asking all of these questions, um, and not technical questions like dev questions and, and different things like that, but people for the investors, and that's another thing that I uh, again I'm gonna get into later, but. 
uh, that's another thing, another telltale sign that they don't care about people who have invested in the hot token. But however, now I've talked about I talked about what was disrespectful, right? I talked about what disrespectful from people and, and talking about the hollow organization or attacking people individually. Now, I'm going to talk about the hollow organization and I, I'm, I, I'm a, a, as a whole. So I believe that it's disrespectful to take people. And I think it's I think it's unethical. And I know some of you guys will disagree with me, and I'm going to explain later if you even make it past this video. There's a lot of people, they're either hard this way, hard that way, and it's very hard for them to stay in between. Okay? So um, when we're talking about the whole organization, I think it's disrespectful to take people's money and they, them not knowing exactly what they have. So I think it's disrespectful for you to sell people or tell people things. And, and I was watching th about the, the, the commercial about three years ago that they made on YouTube or everything like that. And they were talking about an ICO being a, a, a community offering, right? Well, you can label it however you want to label it. The, the fact of the matter is, is that if you want people to invest in something, um, at least tell them exactly what it is. There are some people who gladly say, hey, let me give you this money. Let me donate this money um, and everything else in between fundraise because I think that this is the future. There's no hot tokens. There's no redeeming this for hollow fuel or anything else in between. Or maybe you can make a QR code in which people bought it and then they automatically have hollow fuel. But I'm going to tell you guys why this didn't happen. I'm going to tell you guys why I believe that um, the hollow organization did that because they were looking for the hot price to go up. And guess what? You know what that is? That is actually um, wanting, uh, having people invest in something in which they, uh, they're going to receive something back. Now, I know the Hollow Organization talked about this a while back, especially when it comes to energy, right? When we're talking about energy, it's I give you something, you give me something, right? And we're, we're, looking, at, we're looking at value and transactions um, completely and totally different, especially within the Hollow Chain organization. So let me tell you something. When, when, you tell, when you tell people, hey, purchase this and this is how it's going to go, since this has been, I don't know, three, four years, I'm, I'm not going to say four years, about three years, two and a half, three years, a lot of people have been invested in your token and they still don't know what it does. And no, it doesn't do anything now, but uh, they at least want to know. Everybody wants to know. And I, I, you know what? I am speaking for the people, and I don't mind this. I don't mind this. I'm speaking for the people because these are real questions that they are that, that they want answered that you have refused. And by the way, these are people that are love Hollow Chain, that are invested in, in in the hot token and in Hollow Chain. These are people they want to know these questions. They want to know the answer to these questions. So I'm going to be the fall guy, and I'm going to ask. Although it could probably go into deaf ears these questions and they're, they're just not being answered. So I think it's disrespectful for you to take people's money and not have, not explain exactly what's going on uh, as far as how the hot token is going to work. Um, you guys said it was going to be a bridge, hollow fuel, um, about how how's the swap is going to happen, everything else in between. But I'm going to tell you guys something, and this is just me being fair. We shouldn't even be worried about no swap. Ooh, yeah, almost almost left me there. Uh, we should not be worried about a swap. Why? Because we're not even close. We're not even close to anything being finished. And and finally, as I was saying, I'm going to get to this because this segues right into finally to me. To me, I have a whole lot of clarity. This AMA has made it extremely clear to me that the hollow the hollow organization has a lot to learn about communication has a lot to learn about clarity right um, has a lot to learn about organization uh, has a lot to learn about responding well and answering well uh, to certain things okay um when we when we look at, and we saw this, we saw a hint of this, right? We saw a hint of this with um, the no hype thing. Well, I don't want you guys to be hyped up about it and everything else in between. This is a no hype zone and everything else. In let me tell. Let, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Guess what? If the hot price is going up, you think that they'd be mad about hyping it up? 
No. Do you think they'd be using the hot token and paying people in hot? Do you think people who earn hollow fuel will be able to switch over to the hot token? Of course. They're not mad about that. The hot token value is going up. So don't look, look here. This, we live in a world. This is a real world here. And for since the beginning, the absolute beginning of time, I don't care what religion you're in. There has been greed. There has been hate. There has been love. There has been compassion. There has been understanding. There's been a whole lot of variety of things and sizes and people and everything else in between. And you're not going to stop that. So when you have something that you know for a fact that people are going to invest in, you're not going to stop the people who are greedy investing in it. You're not going to stop these rich people who are going to invest in a hot token and they're going to they're going to sell it all off and then they're going to buy it all back when it goes up and everything else in between. You're not going to stop these people. So I I understand that you want the, the hollow organization wants certain types of people within their community, right? It's wonderful in life to be able to have the same types of people. So um, to be honest with you guys, I don't know how that feels. When I, when I grew up, I was picked on all the time. Elementary school, middle school, high school, I was picked on all the time. I didn't, I didn't pick it on other kids. I didn't laugh at other kids. Now, I thought some things that happened were funny in elementary school, but I didn't demean other people. Um, I, I wish people would, um, could, could know that I was telling the truth. So all you have to do is, you know, the only thing you can do is go by what I say. But as a kid, I was picked on a lot for a variety of reasons. And I remember that as I was picked on, um, a lot of things always, it always occurred to me that everything that I understood, people were picking on me because not because of the fact that um, um, I was a bad person, a lot of people just picked on you because that's who they were. And then I kind of I kind of reached the aha moment in probably seventh or eighth grade, and I'm like, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna be me. And so there's all these cliques in, 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 in middle school and high school, and, and honestly, I wasn't part of them. In high school, my friends, and by the way, I'm going somewhere with this. I apologize for making the video long, but I think this is extremely important because I'm not going to be making a lot of videos. So I need you guys to understand. I'm going to talk about that later because I got some other things that I got other things that's under wraps that's about to happen. So I'm getting somewhere with this. So when I was when I was in middle school and I was being picked on, I was never part of the crowd. My friends, especially in high school, um, Michelle, uh, who else? Um, Rishi Thacker. Oh man, I hope I, I hope I didn't. Um, oh man, but I hope I hope there's a lot of Rishis out there. My bad, my bad, Rishi. If, if you ever, I, I doubt he ever hear this, but if he did, um, these were good friends of mine. We we hung out during lunchtime and uh, we sit down and and we'll talk about some things and and we'll talk about the school day and uh, what 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 student did this or, or that. But you know, it was it, it was cool. But guess what? I was also on the basketball team. Um, I was also doing other uh, other things as well, and I would communicate. You know, I was pretty athletic, so I like playing basketball. I would communicate with the guys who like playing basketball, and sometimes I sit with them, and sometimes I sit with the people. Like I was on a chess club, um, and I would sit with the people in chess, uh, uh, playing chess and different things like that. So um, these are things in which. I understood, like, hey, man, it's great to get different opinions. It's great to see the world from a different point of view. I've talked about this before, but growing up, um, I grew up in a black neighborhood. 90% of the people that were in my church were Caucasian. Like, the worlds were completely and totally different. The communication, everything was completely different, okay? So, again, I've, I've, I grew up with mi people having mixed um, ways of, of thinking and then also being able to receive uh, critical information that will be able to help them move forward in life and not just see things one way. As Holochain, as an organization, I understand that you want certain people. You want to have that, that camaraderie, right? You want to have people um, to, 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 you guys all get together and do things together and work on things together. But guess what? I'm here to tell you that that, that format is not going to work. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm not talking about diversity as far as 
skin color. I hopefully, hopefully, we're not talking about that. I don't even want to get into that. Hopefully, we're not talking about diversity as far as language. I don't even want to get into that. I'm talking about diversity, how you think about things, how you evolve. Um, as an organization, and, and by the way, you you guys are, are trying to think that you're not a business. You are indeed a business. You are coming out with a technology that is about to change the world, and you guys have a failure, a fail, fail to realize how important. Now, you guys know how grand this is going to be, but I'm telling you guys from an organization, from a company point of view, that what you guys are doing and how you guys are doing it is extremely embarrassing for a company or organization. Extremely embarrassing. Now, some of you guys uh, saw my, uh, my, my first and uh, probably one of my only few interviews that I, I will ever have um, with Hollow Cell, and I was really, really upset by that um, because it was not it was not the way I wanted it to be. And I apologize. I came out and I apologized. You want to know why I did that? It wasn't because it wasn't because I just sat there and I was like, hmm, you know what? <sighs> this person didn't like it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize. No. It, it, I was honest with myself. I looked at myself in the mirror. These people take their time and energy to explain things and talk to, and talk to me about things. And this is the product that you receive. So Hollow, the Hollow organization, people have taken time to understand, to really jump into the organization. And a lot of people who are, there's a lot of people within the um, Hollow organization who have the hot token. And I know this for a fact, okay? And who love Hollow Chain, who have the hot token. OK, and they're they're invested in not only hot, the hot token, but they invest in a hollow chain because they believe in a project. They believe in everything and they're putting all of this energy. And you guys. Right. How many times have I how many videos have I made on hollow chain? I put a lot of energy into making videos on hollow chain. Hollow chain didn't ask me to do that. The hollow organization didn't do. I mean, excuse me. The hollow organization didn't ask me to do that. I'm doing this on my own. That's what gives me the freedom to say what I want, do what I want, how I want, when I want, and why I want. But guess what? There's consequences to everything and how you do things, okay? And so from a business point of view, and yes, you are a business, okay? How you guys are doing things, how the hollow organization is doing things is completely wrong. Now, some of you guys might be saying, well, Gosh, darn it. Like, you think you know everything, then um, why don't you help the Hollow organization? I've tried. Why don't you email them? I have. Why don't you talk about things? Talk about how to make things better, not just criticize them. Once again, I have. So um, it reaches deaf ears almost every single time. I can't help that. I can only move forward, live my life and move forward. So that all goes into energy. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about energy a little bit later. Uh, so clarity. There has not been any clarity on exactly people want to invest in a hot token, but they can't because there's no clarity. Well, what is this hollow feel everybody's talking about? Well, you have switching. There's going to be six more within six months. Everything is in between. Everybody's answering, trying to answer all of these questions. And you guys are not even close. The hollow organization is not even close to a hollow fuel coming out. Right? At least that's what I'm assuming. That's what happens when you don't answer people's questions is they start coming up with their own theories. They start coming up with the, uh, everything in their own mind because there's no clarity. I guarantee you with some organizations, and they might be worse organizations. They may be mean people. They may be evil in the background. I don't know what's going on. Um, but there's extreme clarity in what they're trying to do, where they're trying to go, and, and, and why they're going there. So I already know that um, having a community, if you think the, if the hollow organization thinks that they're going to have some kind of community where nobody's going to be an investor and nobody's going to do bad things with the money. Let me tell you something. All I want is a hot tub. I don't know what everybody else wants, but I just want a nice tub and not even a hot tub like a sparkling. I just want a nice house with a, with a large tub so I can take a nice hot bath. That's it. Now, I'm not, that's all I want to do. 
But I guarantee you, there's going to be a whole lot of people out there that's going to do a whole lot of bad things with how much money that they're going to make from the hot token when they make it. And why? Because everybody who's invested early, a lot of them have started to say, hey, you know what? I'm done with this company. I'm done with this organization. And, and to you, to a lot of people in the Hollow organization, I remember in one of their past AMAs, they say, hey, you're just going to have to believe this or not. You just, it, it is what it is. And sell your hot tokens if you don't believe it. And that's exactly what's going to happen. But guess what? You know who the people who are going to make more money as the people who are, who are the rich. The rich going to come in and they're going to be like, well, what is this Hollow? Oh, it's at 10 cents. All right. I'll, I'll get like a couple million, you know, uh, a couple million dollars of, of, of 10 cents worth of Hollow chain, uh, excuse me, of the hot token. And everything else in between. And, and by the way, it's going to rise. And then they're going to be rich off of it. And guess what? All of the nobodies, and I'm going to say nobodies because I'm going to consider myself a nobody. All the people, um, now I haven't, you know, uh, we're getting into investing later. But all of the people who invested before who said, you know what? I'm out of here. And then all of a sudden it goes, it goes astronomically high within two years. Because guess what? When it was cheap, they didn't understand. They didn't have any clarity. They didn't understand what was going on. You guys are not having any kind of clarity in helping people who really truly need it. These rich, there's a lot of rich people who are not involved with Holo, the hot token. And let me tell you something. If some of them were involved with Hollow Chain or wanting to see Hollow Chain flourish, I get, and you guys know this. You, the Hollow organization knows that there's a lot of rich people out there that are going to be investing in this technology that's going to change everything. But you know who's going to suffer? The people who put all of their energy, and by the way, energy, they work, they earn fiat money, they invest in a hot token. The work is their energy. So they've invested this energy into this company, into this organization, and they're not receiving hardly anything. And then they're like, oh, you know what? I'm out. Now, to the hollow organization, you, they might think, oh, well, you know what? That's fine. There's, there's a bunch of greedy people who want to be. No, 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 no. The greedy people are the ones that's going to invest in a hot token when it hits two or three cents. And then when it rises up from there, that's when. That's the people who are going to be making millionaires. That's the people that's going to be scratching the surface. Everybody else who invested in a hot token um, and, and is just by the leap of faith since a couple years ago, and it has risen a whole lot. Remember, remember back when you guys remember when it took off, and I was like, "You guys, be easy. Know this: it's going to rise, it's going to fall, it's going to continue on, it's going to go much higher. Everything else in between. Guess what? There's a lot of people who has jumped out of." the hot token uh, jumped out of hollow chain. They're going to jump back in, but guess what? They're not going to come in at the same price. And you know what? Who are the people who are going to really make some money? Again, I'm going to say this again. It's the rich people. It's the people who, who, who found out about this later on. Not, now that will be, there will be some people who's going to hold on to the hot token until the day they die. There's going to be some people who got, um, in the AMA, I think the guy said he had 20 million. Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe 20 billion. I don't know how much it was, but he said he had a lot of hot tokens and stuff like that. Um, that's wonderful, right? But guess what? A lot of people are looking for hope. And you know, I used to laugh. I used to laugh at people, um, and not even used to. I, I still do kind of sort of, right? We laugh at people who invest in Shiba Unu coin or Dogecoin because, you know, of Elon Musk. And um, they, they're hoping that Shiba does the same thing and everything else between it. You're like, ah, ha, 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 ha. You guys are so funny. There's no... There's nothing behind it. There's nothing behind it. I'll tell you what's behind it. Hope. It's like a religion. And everybody have different kinds of religions. And everybody have different things. And they're hoping that one day, I don't know, the Shibu Unicorn hits one cent. Or i tell you what, hits a dollar. That's not going to happen with the amount that it had. But let's say, let's say they're like, you know what? We're treating this like Bitcoin. We're cutting everything. We're cutting half of it and everything. They're looking for hope. They're looking for hope that something will happen. And it's the same thing with the hot token. It's the same thing with hollow chain. People are looking for hope that this will be something that will get them to the next level, right? To help them to move forward in life. I think it's highly, again, I'm going to go back. I think it's highly disrespectful 
for a company or organization to ask people to invest in something in which they're not getting hardly nothing in return. At least give them information so that they can make the right decisions in this market. Because you know it's a market. It's a hot token. You didn't create an ERC-20 token for it not to do anything. So, um, and if you did, I don't even want to go into that. So there has not been any clarity. Now, for a lot of you guys, I'm pretty sure that most people who are Hollow Chain fans have just completely and totally left. Unfortunately, they're not going to hear the rest I have to say because they already got mad and they already left because they disagree with what I said. I get it, I suppose. I'm not that emotionally involved. If somebody told me, hey, man, the way you live in your life is trash and everything else in between, I'm going to ask them why. I want to explain everything, and I'm going to have to go all the way down to here, and then I'm going to say, hey, you know what? But I believe this, 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 and this, and you're right here. You were wrong here. You were right here. And why? You want to get all of the information. Let me tell you guys something. That's how you grow as a human being. That's how you grow as a company. That's how you grow as an organization. You take a look at all of the information that you have, and then you make good decisions and you change things to make things better, right? That's what you do. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you guys know I've been invested in um, the hot token for a while now, and obviously it's risen a whole lot. So, I mean, I ain't complaining compared to everything else that's been going on in the stock market. Uh, and, any, uh, and, you know, Right now, the hot token is just following Bitcoin. That just is what it is. It's a market of um, people who just, they lack understanding. It doesn't matter. So that's why we have um, the Shiba Unu coin and Doge coin and a couple of these meme coins out there. And people are looking for hope. And the reason why they're looking for hope is because they are not getting any hope anywhere else. And you guys want to know why? Because when you have companies and organizations like Holochain, they seem like, and I'm not saying that they are, but they seem like a wolf in sheep's clothing. And let me explain. You know, I, I, was, I, was, I was talking about this earlier. And, you, and some of you guys might not believe this, but um, me, with me being in a, um, the religious world uh, for a very long time, do you guys understand how to find a wolf in sheep's clothing? I know some of you guys are like, that's the one with the sharp teeth. <laughs> Smart. They got to open their mouth to do that. You know how to find a wolf in sheep's clothing? You look for the one that looked mostly like a sheep. That's what you do. And to me, um, with, with this organization, they're not wolves in sheep's clothing or anything else in between. At least I don't believe that they are. But the signs are there when you don't receive clarity from what you guys have. The signs are there. There are a lot of red flags with the hollow organization. Now, I don't have um, these, you know, I don't, I don't drink the Kool-Aid, okay? Um, please, you guys look up, um, do your research on what it means to, to, to drink the Kool-Aid, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys know. All right, so... Um, I haven't drinking the blue Kool-Aid or the purple Kool-Aid or whatever you want to call it. I'm one of those people to where I understand that before I do things, before I talk about things, before I go into things, I want to make sure that I look at the entire picture. And that's what I personally have done with um, Hollow Chain, the Hollow organization. All right. So the other reason why uh, there was a um, and I'm going to do this for a reason. Um, a lack of the reason why I would give the AMA, uh, I would say AMA has flopped, a hollow chain AMA has flopped because of the fact that um, one, for a lot of people, it was not a good AMA. Okay, uh, the expectations. Um, there's a lot of people who have followed organ uh, hollow chain, and all of the there's not a whole lot of new information. Um, and three, the clarity. Um, we, you know, we. The reason why there are a lot of questions about beta and alpha and everything else in between, because there is no clarity. You guys, the whole organization needs to create clarity. I think it's an easy thing to do. I don't understand why it just seems to be so complicated for them. But again, that's a red flag. Now, 
I know some of you guys out there are like, well, if you got so much to say about Polo Chain, then well, why don't you just get out of it? Because, you know, uh, we don't need people like you. We are in no hype zone and no, no critical zone and no criticize us and, and everything else in between. Let me tell you guys something. Uh, I hope none of you guys have co uh, 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 um, complained about Walmart. Did you stop going to Walmart? Have you guys complained about the bank? Did you stop banking? You guys complain about work? Have you stopped working? No, but you do understand that there's something wrong with the situation and you're going to bring it up. It doesn't mean that you're going to stop or that you're going to um, not, you know, believe in it anymore or anything else in between. It just means that it is what it is and something needs to be done, right? It's the same thing. There's a lot of, there's 12,000 crypto projects out there. And I like utility uh, utility type tokens because I do believe that utility tokens are going to, to, to make it quite far. Now, let's get into what happens now. All right. So what are we doing right now? What's going on? Well, right now, the hollow organization, uh, if you guys saw the AMA, I was looking at AMA and I was like, wow, First off, they're bringing some, they're, they're talking about a, a, the dev camp and everything else between. But why spend so much time, 25 to 30 minutes, talking about how excited you are about a dev camp? I believe that it's exciting. I believe that there are great things on the horizon. And yes, 1,500 people involved in, in the Hollow Chain project or uh, 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 involved in, in learning how to build things on Hollow Chain. Oh, and by the way, this is in Russia. Do you guys understand what it takes to get people together in Russia to be able to do things without, I'm going to leave politics in there, but without certain people getting involved? Maybe they are. We're going to talk about that because here's what I think is going to happen. I think that the hollow organization is going to, um, unfortunately, I believe that they're going to be too late to the party. Do I believe that their technology is going to be great? Absolutely. Do I think it's going to change a lot of things? Absolutely. So what do I mean by late? I mean late as in, I believe that there's so many different ideas and so many things that are going to come from, um, from hollow chain but i think more i think there's a lot more that you can do with this but the problem is is that there are other people in this world there are other organizations in this world and we all thought that there was only going to be one type of way of communication and one type of thing and lo and behold there are different ways to watch tv there's 4k there's uh dvd there's uh i mean the 4k dvd there's 4k tvs and just because 4k was created don't mean that there there aren't going to be different avenues just because this type of communication is created don't mean that there's not going to be different avenues of communication so there are a lot of people they're going to dig deep and a lot, um, by the way, this technology, and this is what I'm talking about, this technology is going to be used by so many people. But I think, and this is just my own personal opinion, if Hollow Chain, if the Hollow Organization continue doing the things that they're doing and not providing any kind of clarity and not doing things um, not my way because I'm not I'm not the most intelligent person in the world, but not doing things in a way that's going to benefit their their means. Right. So um, they need to make sure that they develop a proper organization, but they're not. And what's going to happen is that humans, greedy humans, uh, selfish humans, Humans that want to, that do bad things to other people, countries, organizations, uh, bad, evil, good, it doesn't matter. They're going to get a hold of this technology and it's going to go free. It is. And I think that someone's going to be like, well, wow, we can do that. Well, what if we did something else? And now they're talking about something that's past Holochain. So blockchain, then Holochain, and then whatever it is after that. 
Um, and obviously we're not even close to any of those things. And that's not even to say that um, Hollow Chain is going to reach its desired goal. Um, but I do believe that this is taking a long, technology evolves quickly. And if you guys need some kind of frame of mind, just think about this. In the time frame that blockchain has been out, we already have Hollow Chain. In the time frame that it's going to take Hollow Chain to finish up, let's say they finish within a year or a year and a half, or let's say next year in the summertime, Hollow Fuel is already out, or let's say even February or March, there's going to be some technology out there, or maybe even a layer two or something where they're going to be like, well, we don't need to switch over to Rust. We don't need to do this. We can just stick with Ethereum because there's like 0 0.0001 fees now. And um, everything's that there's a whole lot of things that can happen that is going to happen. So people are constantly trying to make blockchain better. And it's going to be the same thing with Holochain. It's just so confusing to me to why there isn't a, a, a direction where they're like, hey, this is what we're trying to do. And by the way, I've asked this before. Where's the leader? Who's the leader? Who's the person that somebody can talk to and say, hey, what are you guys doing? Is it Arthur Brock? Is it Eric Harris Braun? Nice guys, I think. I never met them. They could be total jerks for all I know. They could be the nicest angels in the world. I have no clue. I can only go by the organization as a whole. And I'm going to tell you guys that what I see happening is that this is going to be something that's slow. And slow is not necessarily a bad thing. But when you're slow and you have lack of communication, that's a bad thing. Okay? So, uh, what I think is going to happen, I'm not, again, um, Mary was talking about the, the time frames and being upset about that. You know, a good solution to that would be just to simply, just simply go ahead and put it online and say, hey, this is where we are. And then moving forward, this is where we are. Green light, this is where we are. Oh, that's a red dot. We're not there yet. Oh, green light, that's is where we are. Just yesterday, we moved up. So we moved up from here, here, here. And you won't have to have so many people ask so many questions about everything. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys, please, by all means, and I know you will, comment in the section below. By the way, I know I am late. I know I'm late. Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. I had a wonderful birthday. Um, I really did. I really enjoyed myself. And um, I'm really to, um, I'm ready uh, to, to, to hit the ground running with a lot of things. There's going to be a lot of changes happening in my life. And uh, hopefully um, we'll, we'll see where that goes. But I'm really excited for that. All right. All right. Options. All right. So what are your options? Let me finish with that. So what are you what are, what are your options now? So you have a couple of options. You can say, hey, you know what? Tyler is hot token. Um, I'm going to take this hot. I'm going to take this hot. I'm going to invest it in some, somewhere else. Why? Um, I believe personally believe that there's a bull market coming. May, may not be. We'll see. Um, but I do believe that there's a bull market coming. And as far as I'm concerned, um, money from where I'm sitting I'm not, I cannot, I don't want to miss out on something. You know, my grandma had a good phrase. She said, um, she said, son, you know, uh, sometimes, because I was studying the Bible at the time, I was real young. I mean, I've been studying the Bible since the age of seven. She said, you know, son, sometimes, um, you know, some people are so heavenly that they have no idea what's happening on earth. And I think that's really true in the crypto spaces. Um, we get so wrapped up in, 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 in what's happening in the future and all these awesome things that we forget what's happening right now. We forget the changes that are happening right now. We forget how the transitioning from the banking system to, um, to crypto is happening right now. We've forgotten all of those things because we're so excited about new technology. Um, sometimes it's good to take a step back and for me, I want to apologize to a lot of you guys because I have to take a step back. I have to take a step back and start talking. Uh, and I'm going to be talking, having different kinds of, of, of viewpoints and, and different things. But really, there's a there's a, a, a failure of uh, 
proper education because there's so many scams out there with people with blockchain on these different crypto projects. And it's really unfortunate. I really think a lot of you guys out there who are doing your own research and then you're also telling people and informing people, hey, this is what it is. This is what's going on right now. So I get it. I get why people are still talking about Bitcoin. I get why people are still talking about Cardano. And, um, um, and, and there's a lot to say about Cardano and Ethereum and everything else in between. I get why people are going over Polygon. I get why a lot of people are going over even Shibu, Shibu Inu and, um, and, and Dogecoin and all these kind of things. I get why they're doing it because that's what's happening right now. It's not, it's not something that's going to change the world and change how we communicate or anything like that, but it's happening right now. And a lot of people want to know what is the best way that they can invest or what are some of the things that they can do to move forward. So here are your options with the hot token. You can keep the hot token. Um, you can just say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to be one of those poor sad saps that um, sold it at this price, the pizza guy. We all don't want to be the Bitcoin pizza guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I'm going to slide it away, and then I'm a dollar cost average, and there we go. Then there's going to be some people that's going to be like, hey, um, you also have a choice. Say, so, hey, you know what? I invested in a hot token. I have this amount in there. I'm leaving it. I'm investing in other things. I'm not putting any more money in it. I'm not doing anything else. I don't trust it. I'm going to put things in which I do trust uh, that it, the value of it will rise. Now, I'm not saying that. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. And at this point, I've received a lot of clarity uh, of exactly how I feel about the hollow organization. And the clarity is not a good clarity. The clarity is, wow, I've been smacked in the face a number of times and not receiving any information. I'm sorry, but I've, and, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think I'm a mean guy. I don't think I'm a guy out there that's just being greedy. I don't think I'm a guy that's out there just trying to get rich and drive the Lambos and stuff like that. I don't think I'm, I'm the type of dude that's out there just trying to swipe people's money and, and, and have all of these frivolous things and say things uh, just, to say, just to say it, just so I can get clicks and views and different things like that. I don't do those things. I really try to educate people. I really try to help people. Why? Because I know what it's like and I'm, I'm still like, I don't make a lot of money. I don't. I don't have a lot of money. Most people who watch these videos do not know that I do not make a lot of money if they knew how much money I made. Now, obviously, it's comparatively speaking. But here in America, I'm considered poor. Okay? That's here in America. All right? So um, my income that I make and, and the things that I do with my income and what my situation is, I don't make a whole lot. But I do understand that I have this right here, and it's called a brain. And if I can help other people, I will. I remember there are a lot of people, just like in religion, and I hate to say this, but there's a lot of similarities in religion. Just like religion, there's a lot of people who are pastors and preachers and, and leaders and everything, and they're bad people. This just is what it is. And then there's some that are out there, and they're good people. They really want to help people. It is what it is. So I don't think I'm that type of person. So as far as I'm concerned, for me moving forward, my options, my options that I'm going to take is I'm going to keep it, invest in it, and leave it. And wait. And I'm going to do what a lot of rich people do, even though like I can't afford it. But a lot of rich people, they just sit there and they hold their money because they can afford to put three or four million, five million dollars into the hot token when it reaches three cents. I can't do that. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to hold it. And but I'm not investing anymore into the hot token. I've done enough. It's over. Done with. I do believe that in a bull run, it can go to astronomical heights. I do believe that um, people are going to be like, oh, man, I did, oh, oh, good thing I invested in the hot token. It went from 0 .08, uh, 0 0.008 to like $1.25 because it's mega awesome bull run that happened. I'm not emotionally invested um, in the hot token and trying to um, and trying to be like this super duper uh, trillionaire. I, I'm just a regular dude who just want to take care of his family.
That's it. So I got to protect my assets and I need to move forward. All right. So a lot of you guys options to move forward is say, hey, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm out. Sell what you have. Purchase a, a different um a project in which you have full confidence that they're going to move forward. You have full confidence in their organization, um, and, and that'll be it. You know, America has tried this thing, and then I'm going back into America. America have tried this thing to where it's like, oh, people, people, people. It's what the people believe in. It's what people is. It's people that, and all the people are going to get together, and we're all going to do the right things, and we're all going to do this. It's not the case. It's not working. How 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 the system works here in America is not working. So if, 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 if that's the, and, and by the way, I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm just saying it's not working. You got to be a complete genius in order to figure out exactly how to get people uh, to, to, to form together and to create something wonderful. And that's an ecosystem. Not, I'm not talking about a, a country. I'm just talking about an ecosystem here and a, a community. And that I do believe that a lot of people in the hollow community are awesome people. But I do believe that there is a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing because they're invested in the company. They love the company, but they really, really, really want to be rich and, and, have, and have this be an opportunity to make them millions of dollars so they can ride in a Lambo. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm not judging. It is what it is. OK, so you guys have options to move forward. Crypto space. You know, the crypto space is, um, is is weird right now, right? So right now, when it just seems like when there's good news about a project, whether it's Ethereum, I'm going to talk about the top three, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, um, and a little bit of XRP. When I'm talking about these things, um, oh, when there's good news that comes out, it just seems like the price goes down every single time. It's very weird. Lately, it's been very weird. Like every every time we think that something is supposed to happen, the complete and total opposite happens. Now, I don't believe in coincidences. Not like that. There's just too many coincidences that in which I'm like, oh my God, like, man, three or four years ago, if somebody said that Bitcoin was going to be used by um, companies and organizations and accepted for payment in different countries, the, my mind would be boggled. If two or three years of that happened, the price would jump up like 30, 40%, 50%. But what's happening is, is that it's they're like, hey, this amazing thing has happened. I don't know who out there is like, well, you know what? That amazing thing happened. I'm just going to have a sell off. We all know who that is. You get, you get. Uh, amazing great news from I don't know any company or organization and I'm going to use uh, a Cardano for example and they're like because Cardano had that, that thing and they had some good information interesting information we'll talk about that later on a different video but um, they were saying uh, hey you know what this amazing great thing happened this is how we're going to use it and then um, all of a sudden the price goes down and I'm like Nani? like what? <laughs> are you kidding me right now? <laughs> like that's crazy so again there's a lot of weird things that's happening in the crypto space. Um, I believe that anybody who has um, any organization, any anybody, any organization that has skin in the game, and what I mean by skin in the game is, I mean that has a crypto project, uh, crypto token or coin. If you have something like Hot Token, if you have something like um, uh, Shiba Inu or, or any of these others, guess what, people? You're part of the game. Right now, it's a game. And I, I know that, um, who was it? Uh, I believe it was Arthur Brock, I'm pretty sure, um, in the video, uh, in the um, Holochain um, video, he was talking about uh, um, community offering and he was saying that, you know, uh, right now we have a lot of people that's grabbing these chips and gambling and different things like that. But guess what? You're not going to be upset if you're winning at the table. So right now, um, there are a lot of people who are playing at the casino right now. And right now, there are a lot of people who have... Um, a six and an eight. Uh, I'm talking about craps here. So if you guys don't know what craps is, I apologize. But let's say you're playing craps and you got a six and an eight. And it's like, oh, you're rolling. And well, you know what? We'll make the seven 
we'll, this is fun. We'll make the seven um, uh, SEC regulation, regulators, um, regula we'll just say uh, regulators across the world, right? We'll make the seven regulators. And if we got the six, we'll make that Bitcoin. We'll get the eight, we'll make that Ethereum. And um, you know what? Uh, uh, what could be Cardano? You know what? On the, on the first roll, the 7 or 11, we'll make that car for Cardano. My point is, is that everybody's everybody's has the dice and everybody's shaking their hand and they're throwing it out and they're saying, hey, you know what? Statistically, this is going to work out because of X, Y, and Z. And by the way, this dice doesn't have this number and this number. So I'm pretty sure it's going to roll on this number. It's all education right now. That's what it all is. It's all it's all a big game. It's all so yes. But guess what? What I noticed about Hollow Chain is they talk about this being a community offering, and not everybody should be getting the people shouldn't be getting hyped up about the price, and they're not worried about price, and they're always talking about don't talk about price, don't talk about price, don't talk about price. But I guarantee you, guess what? You got chips on the table. You got chips that you offer to people, and guess what it is? It's an ERC twenty token. So I'm just saying. All right. Now, um, hey, if if some of you guys don't like what I have to say, please, by all means, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but the couple subscribers that I do have th that I will have in the future and waiting to grow or maybe to fail, it does not matter to me. But I guarantee you there's one person out there and that's all I care about is that one helping that one person understand and look at the entire board and say, hey, mate, I need to make the right decisions for myself. Because we're living in a world in where if you don't receive the right information, you can be totally screwed in life. It just is what it is. And we have some good people out there. Um, there's a lot of elderly people out there. They're like, oh, well, I don't know what this Bitcoin is, but I, I, I won't want to invest in Bitcoin because I care about my grandkids and I want them to be successful. And then they go in and they got this this guy, this car salesman dude, and he's talking about oh, Bitcoin and how it's going to work and how this works. And you just put in this amount and you get a certain percentage every single month and then over time, and then they end up getting scammed. We live in a world where there's so much information out there and in order for you to make the right decisions on what you do in life, you are going to have to make a conscious decision on, hey, what is this right? Was this wrong? Or it's all about discerning. It's all about discerning information that you receive, right? So I, I'm, I'm not going to apologize for trying to help people understand the big picture or my own point of view. Because I, let me tell you something, I might not be the world's greatest speaker. I might not have the greatest technology. I might not be the, um, the, the this rich person that has, has made it in life. I might not be any of those things, but let me tell you something. I know I'm a damn good person and I know I care about people. And I know that the information that they receive, um, it will help them in the future. That's what I care about. Perfect segue to my next thing because there's a lot of there's a lot that's going on. Crypto space is weird right now. Very weird. Do your own research and I'm gonna be getting into that. New plans. Okay. So I've decided in my life, um, and and I, I this is very, very this is very um this is where we are right now for some of you guys um that fast forwarded through the video, which I don't blame you. Uh, but this world is, is, is crazy. If you want to survive in this world, you're going to have to educate yourself. Okay. You're going to have to do your own research. You're going to have to turn off that damn TV and you're going to have to say, okay, Google, what is a whatever? We have that information. I didn't say the word because I have, I have one of those machines here, but we live in an information age, and the only people who are going to make it are the informed. And what's happening in this world? The problem is, is there's so much information that um, it gets divided up, and you don't know where to look, and everything else in between. And obviously, that's why we have YouTube videos because there's a lot of people who've done the research for us. But we cannot be lazy. You can't be lazy in life because the moment that you're lazy in life, 
The moment that someone offers you and smiles and, and, and looks you in the face and promise you, promises you things and in the inside, they're saying, hey, let me help you. But on the inside, they're rubbing their hands like this is I got you. And for some of you guys, the video's just about over. But for others, I'm going to get into a little moment here. And if you want to improve yourself in this world, if you want to make your life better in this world, you're going to have to do certain things that you are not going to want to do to include in dangerous things and fearful things. You need to look in your life and figure out exactly what you want because and then some of you guys are like, what has this got to do with cryptocurrency and everything that's between? What has this got to do with me making money? It has everything to do. Because if you don't do your own research, you're going to find yourself screwed. Just throwing it out at you. All right? Hopefully you're able to catch it. It's not a Blake Borders throw. Football joke for some of you guys. So when we're living in this world, you have options to make. You can say, hey, you know what? I'm going to cut this out of my life. I'm going to cut that out of my life. I need to move forward in life. I need to do what? No, I don't need to do what the world thinks I need to do that's right and what's wrong and be socially, you know, you know, be hit the social norms and everything else in between. I need to look at my life because I guarantee you once you stop breathing, you're not going to be living your life anymore. And that's hitting hard to a lot of people right now because we live in an age and where there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people dying right now. There's a lot of people who are trying to figure out life. There's a lot of transitioning that's going on in this world right now. There's just a lot. And there's so many things being thrown at people in situations. And they're like, damn, can, can somebody stop hitting me? So, I'm going to offer this advice. If you want to survive, it's all about no. But it's also all about change. You're going to have to change. Sometimes you're going to have to just change the way you do things. We have a lot of people out there that say, I don't want to do that. I'm never going to change. And I ain't got time for this. And the world was good back in the day. And this is how I do. No, 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 no. If you want to advance in this world, if you want to improve yourself, you're going to have to change. You're going to have to grow. You're going to have to improve. You're going to have to read. So I'm telling you guys, please do your own research. Do your own research. Do your own research. Why? Because it's extremely important in life. I've already gotten to the point to where I'm at the point in my life to where I'm like, I have to focus my energy and what I'm doing. And I'm going to have to focus it into focus my energy, focus my words, focus my voice, focus everything that I have into not only improving my life, but the only way that I can do the things that I really want to do is to be able to, uh, even if I want to help anybody. If I want to help other people, if I want to help my kids, if I want to help anybody in this world, in this life, you're going to have to educate yourself, but you're going to have to change. Yes, there's a lot of mean people out there in this world. This world, this whole situation that has come up these last couple of years have brought out the straight up ugliness out of a lot of people. It really has. And everybody is clawing and scratching for any type of hope in this world. I'm going to tell you guys something. If you're going to claw and you're going to scratch and you're looking for money, monetary, like financial freedom. The first thing you're going to have to do is gut yourself in, gut yourself out. And you're going to have to get rid of all that excess stuff in your life so you can make the wisest decisions, the wise decisions so that you can say, hey, all of this excess stuff that I have, I don't need, don't want, and I need to move forward. And then your energy can be directed towards things that you do want, that you do want to do, because we only live one life. And so I'm going to go back to this right here. 
are my options to move forward here. I've, I've completely and totally under, understood that I can sit here and I can waste my energy talking about hollow chain all the time, talking about the next day of post, talking about updates, talking about things on Twitter, talking about the, hap the good things and the bad things and everything that's in between. No, I had already started to see it a little bit. And I know you guys have seen it, but now I'm going to start really moving forward because I'm wasting my energy, wasting my time. Not helping you guys. I love doing that. And I know that some of the videos that I've made have helped some of you guys out. And I appreciate that. Now, I've also appreciate the, um, the, the emails that I've received because some of you guys um, bring give me good emails. Um, and not emails that I just, you know, want to hear. There's a lot of people send me emails. So for some, some people have my email from, from, from a while, from a while back. And that's what I have done to, um, reward, um, uh, to kind of sort of, cause I can't reward people monetarily to kind of sort of reward them for, um, being a follower and, uh, but, uh, a subscriber, excuse me. Uh, but anyway, um, so I really appreciate it and I appreciate the hard questions that I received and I'm going to continue answering those questions. I'm going to continue moving forward, but my energy is no longer going to be on um, on things in which I, I'm wasting a lot of energy uh, concentrating on things in which I'm not getting anything in return. And I'm not talking about monetarily because these YouTube videos I do for free. This information I do for free and I do it for myself as well. So I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about I am not receiving any results or any clarity, going back to clarity in my life on the things that I need to do to move forward in life. You know, the, the, uh, it's funny, the Hollow organization, they talk about um, how they need to, um, how, you know, how, how they want people to, to build and be a part of the community. No, they want people to be a part of the community so they can do the things that they want them to do or see creative things, which there's a whole lot of creative things out there. But in the way that they're acting and behaving, it's too monolithic for me. And I mean that as in, and I, I don't want to talk bad about certain religions, but in certain religions, they speak a different language. So the average person doesn't know what the language actually is or, or what it says. And the leaders and then the, the people are say, oh, you know, we worship this, we worship that, and we follow this, we follow that. They have no idea what the words actually mean. There's no clarity there. There's no communication there. Let me tell you guys something. Everything is about communication. I'm going to leave with this. From the hollow organization to um, those who are invested in the hot token, everything is, there is, everything is about communication. Relationships is about communication. Parenting is about communication. Organizations is about communication. Working is about communication. Everything, everything in life has everything to do with communication. If you cannot properly communicate with somebody, there's a problem. If I make videos and they continually, nobody can continually hear them, that's a bad thing. That means the communication is broken down. If you have an organization and nobody actually knows exactly what's going on, but they really want to know what's going on because they want to find out, that's a lack of communication. When you're in a relationship and something is wrong and you don't say anything, that's a lack of communication. When you're in that organization, such as a government um, government entity and um, you have people they want certain things but you have made rules and regulations and they don't even know how to follow that's a lack of communication folks everything in life deals with communication if you cannot properly communicate with somebody in any in any way there's going to be a problem so I'm asking the hollow organization to please please for the people out there, for your people, and by the way, your people, not me, for your people, because I know, it's not that I think, I know that there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes that I don't know about, because every organization has it. And now all the questions that I have, I know a lot of the same people have those exact same questions. So don't look at me like I'm an evil guy or that I don't like the whole organization I like organization. They're just doing things wrong. And I'm calling them out on it. It is what it is. There's constructive criticism. They're sandwiching, right? 
say something nice and then you have the meat and then you end with something nice. You know, I'm not that type of guy. I didn't grow up that type of way. I grew up where everything, uh, everything was wrong. I grew up where uh, you don't question, you don't ask, you don't, you, you know, you don't do certain things. Why? You say, why? You don't ask why. You just do it. Sorry. I grew up, hey, if you're going to do something stupid, you may not survive. You go out there in the road and you get hit by a car after you've been told a thousand times to not walk across the road without looking left and right and you get hit by a car, tough titty, tough luck. I don't, I don't even know if they're going to scratch that out of YouTube. But anyway, I know this video has been extremely long. I want to appreciate everyone who has watched this video up until now. I will be making more videos. They're not going to be um, until once I get extreme clarity. And I do mean extreme clarity with the whole organization. I will. For now, I'm just going to be commenting on, um, on Twitter. So, so, so many of you guys follow me uh, on Twitter at the Crypto Truth uh, One, I believe it's one. Um, yeah, and um, I'm going to be making comments. I'm going to be following along exactly what's happening with the whole organization. I'm not going to be wasting my energy. Um, I'm just not. I am happy that they are receiving a lot of um, that they are receiving a lot of accolades. They're doing a lot of things. The technology is starting starting to work. Um, we have um, folks like Red Grid. They're starting to get involved. Um, uh, they're starting to talk more and more about their project, which is a wonderful thing. So we're going to see. Um, I may, and this is just a may, I'm not sure. I may be having an interview. I may be interviewing, not having an interview. I may be interviewing Red Grid. We, we shall see. But uh, please comment on, um, please make a comment below. On this whole entire video, I, I, I intend on there be a lot of people to be upset about what I've said. And I understand that. Please, by all means, comment down below. For uh, many of you guys, I want to appreciate all of you for understanding that this um, that no, no organization is perfect. Right. Um, like, for example, I've talked about Cardano. Um, I like the Cardano project. I can't stand Charles Hoskinson. Um I, I don't know him personally, though. I just know what he's what what product that he's giving him, himself to be. Um, so, you know, we all we all make snap judgments on everything. So anyway, please uh, have a wonderful day. Do your own research. Do your own research. Do your own research. And last but not least, folks, please, by all means, stay safe out there. Bye, you guys.